So you want to host a Minecraft server, and you're considering Minecraft Worlds. But you don't know enough about Minecraft Worlds to decide. Well, this is the video you need to watch. In this video, I'll review Minecraft Worlds, and check whether they're a good fit for you, or anyone. But before I start, I've got to say I'm somewhat biased towards Minecraft Worlds. Because what's the best name for a company that specializes in hosting Minecraft servers? Minecraft Worlds, of course. Seriously, there is literally no better name. On getting to Minecraft World's website, the first thing that went through my mind is, why is this so dark? And why are there so many things? It looks so chaotic. But this isn't a video about the aesthetics of websites. On the plus side, almost everything you need to know about the host is on the homepage. There's information about plans on offer, server locations, and other particulars about the service that Minecraft Worlds offers. Despite looking so chaotic, the average person will find it very easy to navigate the site which is probably what Minecraft Worlds was going for when they designed the site. If you love Multicraft, well, you're not going to get Multicraft with Minecraft Worlds. Instead of providing Multicraft, or a heavily customized Multicraft, they provide an entirely different control panel. It isn't the worst thing in the world, of course, but most people would prefer a plain old Multicraft control panel. So let's get right into it. What does Minecraft Worlds have to offer? What, exactly, is in this Minecraft World? First, let's talk about RAM. Unlike many web hosts, Minecraft Worlds doesn't offer a particularly wide range of RAMs for users to pick from. Besides, the RAM choices only go up to 6 gigabytes, which is pretty weird. They also have a limit of about 2 gigabytes, which is just around what most web hosts offer. Thankfully, they have a decent plugin policy. All plugins are allowed, and they are unlimited as well. So you can add whatever you want to your server without worrying about administrative control. Unfortunately, they don't provide a lot of information about mod packs and whatnot. They only say that there are many pre-installed mod packs that you can choose from. What they don't say is what happens when the mod pack you want isn't on that server. The fact that they didn't openly advertise accepting unlimited mod packs as they did with plugins tells me that their answer to anyone trying to install foreign mod packs would probably be too bad. There's information on server locations, but it's sparing, as the site just mentions that there are two servers on two different continents, Europe and North America. There's no information on the number of player slots available. But since there are no limits, it appears that it's unlimited, which is just code for as much as your server can process at any given time. So if you want a pretty huge server with lots of different players, you should probably opt out of the world of Minecraft Worlds. Yeah, that was a pun, and it was great. You're welcome. Now, let's talk about performance and reliability. Sure, Minecraft Worlds doesn't offer a lot of gigabytes. But what do they do with the little they offer? Can they be relied on? Or is this Minecraft world a little glitchy? First, we start with the basics. Minecraft worlds, like most other web hosts, comes with DDoS protection. DDoS protection is one of those things that is a big deal. But since 99% of hosts offer it, it has stopped being a huge deal. However, if Minecraft worlds hadn't offered it, let's just say this review would not have gone well for them. Minecraft worlds guarantees 99% accessibility as well, which means that your server is guaranteed to be up at least 99% of the time you paid for. If you've been stuck with hosts that accumulate downtime like bonus points at an arcade game, you know how important this guarantee is. It also comes with a backup system that carries out daily backups on your server. So if it ever gets attacked, you'll be able to restore it with a single click. There are also manual backup options if that's more up your alley. Minecraft Worlds also makes sure to tell us that their servers are hosted on pretty much the best hardware money can buy. That's the AMD Ryzen 3900X 4.6 GHz with 2 GB of space. All plans come with complete FTP access as well. So if you'd like to mess around the back end of your server, Minecraft Worlds has got you. Sometimes it's not just enough to have great performance and reliability. Sometimes you just have to offer something that no other web host can offer. Let's see if these guys offer anything important. Perhaps the most important additional feature that Minecraft Worlds offers is a seven day free two gigabyte server. The server is an appetizer that helps you decide whether or not you'd like to stick to Minecraft Worlds. This is a pretty useful feature because it allows you to understand whether or not you're comfortable hosting your server with them. It also saves you money in the process. Other additional features include unlimited NVMe disk space, custom address without port, online files editor, and unlimited maps. You can also allow other admins to interact with your server, and you can also have your friends pay for your server through donations. Rad, right? Hunting for charity has never been this easy. So how much do you have to pay to get access to all of this? Well. It seems the answer is a lot. The cheapest plan, aside from the 2 gigabyte free plan, is the Steve 2 gigabyte plan. It costs just around $5.99.
The most expensive plan is the 6 gigabyte plan, and it costs $17.99. While Minecraft World's cheapest plan isn't exactly too unreasonable, their most expensive plan is probably the most expensive I've ever seen. Minecraft Worlds didn't do too badly until it got to pricing. Their cheapest plan makes economic sense, but the higher we went, the least economic sense it made. In fact, you could say that the prices Minecraft Worlds quoted were a world of disappointment. That's it guys! If you love this video, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button! Also, I want to disclose that we might get compensated for the products mentioned in this video. This helps our team to continue to help you in your search for reputable and trustworthy Minecraft hosting servers. Goodbye! And remember to check back for more reviews. Oh, also remember to stay safe. Thank you.